Thank you. Yeah. Ringo. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ringo Starr. Was born in Liverpool at a very early age. <laughs> and he had a hard childhood, a real hard childhood. But he had a beautiful mom, Elsie, and a lovely stepdad, Harry. Both of them had real big hearts, beautiful people, and they loved music. So at some point during this difficult childhood, Ringo got a drum. Yeah. Ringo got a drum. <laughs> and that was it. That was it. He, he, he was now a drummer. He just drummed. Later on, he joined a group called uh, Rory and the Hurricanes, Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. And, and we saw these guys when we were out in Hamburg. We were playing out there. And I mean, Ringo was like a professional musician. We were just like slamming around, just singing and doing stuff. But he, like, he had a beard. That's professional. He had a suit, very professional. And he would sit at the bar drinking bourbon and seven. We'd never seen anyone like this. This was like a, a grown-up musician. Anyway, we got friendly with him, and um, he used to come in late night to uh, when we were playing, and he'd request a couple of songs, so we got to know him. And then one night, our drummer then, Pete Best, uh, wasn't available, and um, so Ringo sat in. And, I remember the moment. I mean, Pete was great, and we, we had a great time with him, but me, John, and George, God bless them. Yeah. Me, John, and George were on the front line singing, as we usually were, and now behind us, we had this guy that we'd never played with before, and I remember the moment when he started playing, and we, we started playing. I think it was like Ray Charles, What Did I Say? And most of the drummers couldn't nail the drum part. It's a little bit clear. He had to go ching, 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 It was a little uh, difficult to do, but Ringo nailed it. So, yeah, Ringo nailed it. Woo. And I remember the moment, just standing there and looking at John, and then looking at George, and the look on our faces was all like, fucking hell. <laughs> what, what is this? And that, that was the moment, you know, that was the beginning, really, of the Beatles. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, then they started this great journey for these four guys from Liverpool who uh, we, we just set off on this journey. We, we did uh, ballrooms and uh, clubs around England and we got a little work in Europe and then we eventually came to America. <laughs> and you know, here we were, we were, uh, we were staying in rooms together and I was, I don't know if I was like a sheltered kid, but I just had my mom and dad growing up and my brother. So I'd never like stayed in a hotel room with a strange man. <laughs> uh, and you know, so we, th this really brought us together, you know. Um, we, we lived like in each other's pockets virtually, but it was a beautiful thing, it was a wonderful thing. And eventually we got on the Ed Sullivan show and we got really famous. Um, 
But it was, it was just so beautiful, you're playing with Ringo, because all, as all the other drummers say, it just is something so special. I mean, when he's playing behind you, you see a lot of these bands when they're playing, they're looking around at the drummer like, you know, is he gonna, is he gonna speed up? Is he gonna slow down? You don't have to look with Ringo, it's just, he's there. You know, he's just a, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it, it's a great honor uh, for me to be able to induce him. <laughs> oh, induct, yeah. Okay. Into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame here in Cleveland tonight, Mr. Ringo Starr.